make a U mold, okay? And the U mold on the forearm. Okay? So you use this uh, type of mold for, particularly for radius lunar fractures, okay? Which are commonly seen in the emergency room, all right? So for radius lunar fractures, now you have an injury here, okay? For the for your radius and your ulna, okay? So it will be applied a U mold. So the U mold, okay, from the posterior aspect, okay, going to the uh, polar aspects so from the dorsal going to the polar. So that's your U, no? Here. Okay. And that in that way you can immobilize your radius and your ulna. Okay, without uh, being too extensive in immobilizing the upper arm. Okay? Right, so good, no? So what do we need for in doing the the uh, U mode, okay? So first <coughs> we'll be using here okay, uh plaster of Paris. Cool, uh, type of casting, a stockinette, okay, so this uh, is like a two inch uh, stockinette which can be appropriate for the size of our patient, okay. This, uh, this one is uh, the one contacting the skin which can lessen the irritation, right. Then we also use the wadding sheet, okay, this may serve as the padding, okay, for the forearm, okay, or for the skin, and also padding for the for the cast of the name, okay. There's also scissors for cutting the stocking and water okay, to help set our uh, POP or plaster of Paris. Okay. Then lastly, we use also elastic bandage. Okay. This is a four inch elastic bandage, okay, appropriate also for the size of the patient to secure, okay, to secure the split for the mold that will be applied. Okay. So first, we need to measure the length okay, of the split that will be applied. So since it's a U mold, it's just a one long uh, uh, split, okay, or the or mold, okay. So this uh, position like this. So, okay. so ideally, the patient is uh, usually uh, lying down with the arm hanging, with the finger chops, or someone that your assist would be holding the hand of the patient, or the patient is already comfortable, he or she may be sitting, okay, or standing, okay. So you uh, measure the length, okay, the ideal, uh, okay. usually the U mode, okay, from just proximal to the uh, metacarpophalangeal joint for your knuckles, okay, then you want it around here, just proximal again to the MCP joint, okay, in the boulder aspect, okay, so that will be the length of the split. We usually uh, have an allowance of a half an inch, okay? Because our split or cast may shorten a little bit as we do. Okay, it wet, so please maintain the position first. Okay, we need to prepare also the limb, okay? So we'll go back here again. We put on the stocking head. It's a bit now. <laughs> wow. Measure it now before we put it on. Okay. <clears throat> Later we can adjust. Okay. 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 Usually, uh, add around two to three inches, okay, from the edge of the split that we'll be applying. So here, it's a bit long, but uh, you can fold this down a little bit later. Okay. Then, uh, you can create a hole for the thumb. Uh, so be careful not to cut the skin. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Then. <coughs> Apply padding. Okay. Since you already have a padding ready for the for the splint, now you can just apply a thin uh, padding over the in the hand, the wrist, the forearm, especially on the fracture side. Okay. This is uh, one way to lessen the risk of having some uh, pressure ulcers okay, from your bony prominences. Lay down. Okay, this is how I make the split. Okay, lay down the leg, right? 
Then I add another layer or roll of the wadding sheet, okay? layers then add another one here in the middle okay. and then I fold it back and this will be the layer for the other side of the split okay. so we lay down our split or mold here in the middle see making the split no so as I said we'll be using the the POP or the Passer Paris mold okay so we lay it down for the upper extremities, ideally around 10 to 12 layers, okay, so split, cast on the two, okay. For the upper extremities, uh, 10 to 12 layers. For the lower, lower extremity, we'll be using uh, 12 to 15 layers. Then, and then, we'll just use 10 layers. Okay? So, we have the desired length, we have the desired number of layers. Okay? The limb is ready already. Okay? We're prepared, and the elastic bandage is already. Okay? Now, we're ready to set this cast okay, on the water. Okay. So make sure the water is lukewarm or at room temperature. No? So there is a certain article they said it's around 23 to 25 degrees. Okay. Because you put it in the too hot, the water is too hot, so the cast will set okay, at a faster rate. No? It's too cold then may set no it's a slow rate so ideally 20 25 now you want to submerge the cast no, in the water and you try to squeeze it okay there should be no more bubbles right coming out from the cast so that means uh, that the cast is fully submerged and the water seep through the spaces so all the parts of the cast no, through all of these uh, uh, spaces no already wet okay or in contact already with the uh, H2O okay so our bubbles will try to squeeze it in okay then okay. remove a little bit the excess water okay. that will not be too wet and lay it down here and the uh, padding that we made mold it a little bit so that there will be no air pockets because those air pockets will Weaken you know, the mold. So, like I said, no, it, it shortened a little bit when it got wet. Okay? Then you fold the two sides okay? and fold it here. Okay? That's the uh, layer of padding on that uh, area. Now we're ready to apply it. So, maintain the limb in the neutral position. Okay? So you ask the patient to position it at this position that you want it to be mobilized, no? So in position like that, in neutral, no? Yes. And you have your assistant hold it for you, no? While you apply the, the elastic bandage. Now, apply the elastic bandage, no? First application, usually I usually, I usually apply it twice. No, the first application B type, and you start distally. No, start distally. Okay, so a bit tight for the split to mold and follow the contour of the limb. Okay, later on, when this is set already, no, we will adjust the tightness. Okay, so this won't be the final tightness. Continue with the other one. So later, this is set already. We will loosen this a little bit and we will 
เรียกลายบุญนั่นไปใช้ตัวโมดิทิสต์เล็กๆใช้ตัวบอลของหัวโมดิทิสต์ฟอลโล่ตัวคอนตูร์โอเคนี่คือเรื่องของเรดิสอุนาร์ฟรักเตอร์นี่คือตัวอย่างเช่นเราสามารถทำการดูดซ้ำดักชั่นมานูเวอร์สนะเราสามารถทำการฟรักชั่นใช่ไหมและอย่าลืมนะนี่คือการสลิดที่เป็นแค่ระยะเวลาโอเคนี่คือเรื่องของเรดิสอุนาร์ฟรักเตอร์นี่ไม่ใช่ Definitive treatment. It's just temporary, you know, to immobilize the limb. You know, something that you can do in the acute setting, in the ER. Okay, to what? To lessen the swelling. Okay, to lessen the pain for the patient. You know, to lessen any other uh, injuries in the area around the fracture. Okay, just to immobilize the limb. Usually our PO, POP sets uh, within 10 minutes okay? and they can advise the patient that he or she may feel some warmth, okay? may feel it too. No? So that's the exothermic reaction from the cast. Okay? Now, when you apply the elastic bandage for the second time, it's not too tight anymore. Okay, Make it a little bit loose. And just snug fit. Okay. You also ask the patient, oh, is it too tight? Take it back. Take it back. See, very fit. Let. Fractures or even your distal radius fractures. No? So you can see period with your uh, say thick lips here, or you can see it with your microporte. tape. No? So with your POP, no, it's heavier than your fiberglass. No, so just think, is it, is it heavy? No? So yeah, and it's, and it has already set. It's uh, really heavy. Okay. So you ask the patient if he or she can move the fingers, okay? So ideally, he or she must be able to move the fingers, no? the thumb and everything. Okay? Because uh, this may not be remain uh, immobilized, no? he or she must be able to do it. Okay? So make sure it is not fit, okay? it's not compressing, right? Then you apply an arm sling, right? To the immobilization. Okay. That's your new mode. 